Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by our dear sister, and the message, it reads like this. Hello, Brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? My brother, I am a woman who is aged 43 years old and I am here to give you my own confession. I know that there are people out there who are willing to assist me even though there are people that are going to judge me. But as a woman, at that time I thought that I was doing the things that were going to assist me and my family but the problems that i am facing currently is that whenever i am alone i see the ghost of my friend the one that i murdered so what happened is that before i had came here to south africa i used to be in this other youth group this was when we were still like young girls and when we were in that youth group i had one who was my best like my best best friend and we knew what we were doing like we were into dating guys she was sleeping around and i was also sleeping around but at church we pretended as if we were really innocent so with time my best friend she then be started dating this other guy and she said that she does not want to keep on dating different guys but i told you that what she was doing it was quite stupid because the guy that she decided to date i didn't see any future in him the guy he was still in university but still there was no future because when i looked at the family from where he comes from i didn't see any future that was going to be great and i was dating some boys that came from wealthy families so i wanted us to continue sleeping around because it was really fun knowing that even if this guy tells you that he does not love you 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 won't even care about him because you'll be having a lot of boys but she said that she was tired of sleeping around and this was against the rules of our church for in our church it is said that a woman is not supposed to share a bed with a man she is only supposed to share a bed if only after she has gotten married to the man that she would be dating then she reminded me of that rule and i said to hell with that rule it is the rule for the old people not for the new generation so we then stopped being friends but we were still like friends but we were no longer sharing our deepest secrets because she was always with her broke boyfriend and when i would try to go with her to a party or to visit another guy's house knowing that the guy will be having his friends there wanting to hook up my friend like we used to do in back in the days when we were still sleeping around then she will refuse so i stopped being friends with her then when i got pregnant i actually got pregnant for this other pastor then i removed that pregnancy and i ran away from home because people got to know about this and it was like a big scandal in church then i left home and i started working for this other family as a maid but but still my brother i was addicted to sleeping with the different men i only worked for that woman for only about three days and already i was sleeping with her husband what happened is that the husband was always the last to go to work so each and every morning when the madam boss would have gone out i'll then take one of my short skirts would see me like that and sometimes i would not even wear anything underneath the skirt and the guy he was like really seduced by me and then we started making love to each other and we were caught and i was fired so i was always moving from one house to the other and it was as if there was a spirit of lustfulness that kept on pushing me to sleep with my boss ladies husbands until i became friends with this other maid who was working in that same area where i was working so she had a sister who was in south africa so her sister then sent her some money and i begged her not to forget about me when she would have came to south africa so she came to south africa and she walked 
and she worked for a very long time when she had settled down and by settling down i mean that she had found a man who was willing to take care of her who was a south african guy so she said my friend i am staying with this other guy i am now a landlord and there is no need for me to work anymore if you want you can come i am going to give you one of the back rooms so that you can also stay here for free then you can start to look for a job and i said that is fine so when i came here to south africa the guy came and picked me up even when i almost got arrested because he came and picked me up at park station and there were some police there and he spoke with the police on my behalf and said that i was actually his own sister but it was just a lie and when we arrived at his house where he was staying with my friend we had already like spoke about a lot of stuff and we had already touched each other because when he was driving his car he just placed his hand on my thighs and he started romancing me as he was driving and i just showed him that i was enjoying everything that he was doing to me so my friend did not know that me and her boyfriend there was already a chemistry that was going on so brother nashi i then started staying with my friend using the back room so this guy what he was doing was that whenever he was on duty since he was a policeman if he was working at night he would actually drive back with his partner and they will park somewhere else then he would walk on foot and he would jump over the jura wall then he would find that the door would be opened up then we would make love maybe for two hours or more then you would return back to work sometimes what he would do is that he would tell me to wait for him outside of the yard then he will take me as his partner will be busy driving then me and him will be at the back of the police van just making love to each other that is what we were doing until my friend found out about everything and i was kicked out and the guy pretended as if i was the one who had seduced him so after i had been kicked out that was when i started to struggle i struggled a lot i then traveled out of Joburg and i came to cape town where i was working at the farms as someone who had grown up in the city working on the farms it was really challenging for me but at least i was suffering in cape town that was when god decided to punish me because that friend of mine the one that i had left in zim her boyfriend came into contact with one who was who is a politician so you know what they do these politicians they start companies but they will be the ones that will be running the companies but their names will never appear in the books of the company so that is what happened since this guy even though he was poor but he was seen to be very innovative and intelligent so he then became the front runner for that politician within a few months whenever i would watch his post on facebook i saw that this guy he was making money he came to south africa he bought different cars he returned back to zim with those cars it was when i got a wedding invitation it was my best friend and her broke guy the one who used to be broke they were now getting married so i returned back home to zim and there i was just watching my best friend and her boyfriend getting married that was when the desire came into my heart the desire to take her man and the desire to make her husband to become mine but i didn't know what to do in my life i had never been to prophets and i had never visited a traditional healer that when you want something in life you just experiment i first went to this other muslim guy whom i had heard that he was from malawi so in zim we just say that anyone who is from malawi they know how to do a lot of charms so i went and i spoke with that old man and i said please can you take me to malawi because there is someone that i want to fix there is someone that i want them to have a case placed on their lives but the man then said that he did not know anyone who 
did these charms but he said that if i wanted i could actually join his religion then with time uh, his god was going to provide me with a perfect husband and i said to hell with you i do not want any other suitable husband for i know that i already have my own husband so i kept on going around visiting different traditional healers until i found a traditional healer who was willing to assist me so the way that i got assisted was that i was told that when i would have returned back to south africa i was supposed to buy my friend some clothes and after i would have bought the clothes for her i was supposed to send these clothes to this traditional healer and they were supposed to be sorted out then I was supposed to travel back to Zim after he would have laid those clothes on his altar for many, many days. And after the curses, af and after he would have placed the curses on those clothes, then he was going to give me the clothes so that I can go and give them to my friend. And that is what I did. So I spoke with my friend and I told her that here in South Africa, there were a lot of clothes that so i then spoke with my friend and i said if you need anything like here in south africa know that i am going to be there for you and you can just send me the money so that i can buy the clothes for you so my friend she really loves like to wear gucci and your louis vuitton so she said do you know any runner you know those runners that go and buy the fake clothes for you so i said yes i know there were some ladies in deben that i knew so i spoke with those ladies and then they gave me their catalog and i sent that catalog to my friend and she picked the clothes that she wanted and on top that was when i bought some clothes for her as well i lied to her that i was still waiting for those deben runners to send the clothes to me but in fact i had the clothes in my room and i was just waiting for that traditional healer to give me a response after he had given me a response that now everything was okay he had laid the curses on the clothes that i had sent to him that was when i traveled from cape town and i returned back to zim i went and i collected the clothes from that traditional healer then i went and i gave those clothes to my best friend and i made her to wear the skirt that i had bought for her for this is what the healer had told me to do and then i returned back to my parents house so my friend she then got so sick she really got so sick my brother and at that time she had already fallen pregnant then she had a miscarriage so after she had gotten a miscarriage the doctors then told her that she needed to wait a little bit before she can try to fall pregnant again but since she really wanted to please her husband she fell pregnant but when she fell pregnant the baby was growing out of her womb she went and she was told that the baby was growing out of her womb and she reported this to me and she told me that this is what she had been told by the doctors so she was supposed to go so that the baby can be removed and when she spoke with me i saw that this was a perfect opportunity to give her bad advice i then told her that our god was able our god was going to perform a miracle for this was the devil's work the devil was the one who had showed the doctors something that was not there i told her that she was supposed to keep this pregnancy for i was praying and i was fasting for her this was just a lie my friend she kept this pregnancy for two months then in the third month she started to feel very dizzy and she kept on complaining and telling me that she was bleeding in the third month that was when my friend passed away she never told her husband that this is what was happening to her when my friend passed away i rushed back home and i pretended to be the good friend but there was something that happened when we were doing the body viewing i saw my friend blinking her eyes and she looked at me and i knew that if i was going to panic then people were going to suspect that i was the one who had caused her death i just looked at her back and i said in my heart you had to die because i want your husband just die and rest in peace this i said in my heart then she closed her eyes 
and all this while i was pretending as if i was crying like this was the last time ever looking at my best friend and everyone really felt sorry for me after my friend's burial i kept on comforting a husband kept on communicating with that traditional healer who stopped me from returning back to south africa he said i only want you to return back to south africa after you have slept with your friend's husband the traditional healer then said that he did not want me to return back to south africa until i would have slept with my friend's husband i then went to his consultation room one day and he took me to his bedroom and he said my daughter you and i we have to sleep together and you do not have to refuse for I have to leave my seed inside your womb for today you are going to sleep with your late friend's husband for today you're going to sleep with your friend's husband and when his seed will come into contact with my seed that i am going to live in your private parts then know that you are going to be tied to him for the rest of his life and he's going to tie it to you for the rest of your life and my brother i then slept with that traditional healer after that he then sprinkled some herbs on my private parts and he told me that i should speak right there with my friend's husband so i called him and as i was calling him he was busy sprinkling some charms on my body he started sprinkling some charms on my mouth and he said for the rest of your life whatever that you are going to tell him he is going to obey you i then told him that i wanted to see him and he asked me where exactly were we supposed to meet with each other i said any hotel of your choice it is fine we then went and we met at this other hotel when we went to that hotel that was when we made love to each other i did not even bath after i had slept with that traditional healer for he said that i was supposed to be dirty the first time that i'll be making love to my friend's husband that is how i took my friend's husband and i am still staying with him i have given him plenty of children but the problem is that i regularly see the ghost of my friend i have tried to be strong for many many years whenever i see a ghost i have been trying to ignore her ghost but i see that it is now affecting me the way that it is affecting me i do not know if i am like seeing her each and every time or if it is just my imagination sometimes i can end up speaking with her when my husband is at home then you would ask me who exactly am i speaking to and i just pretend as if i am just speaking with the holy spirit oh, dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by our dear sister strange things do happen in this world and right now she is saying that they are now elders in the church yet this is the thing that she did you're